All right, we're back again, this time for Uber Elder. So finally, now that we have covered Shaper and Elder, now we can cover Uber Elder for the uh, the Voidstone. So Uber Elder is this invite here. You get, again, you get these two from Shaper and you get these two from Normal Elder. Then once you have all four, you can do Uber Elder. And that can drop the three mod watcher's eye. If you don't know what that is, you should watch my other video on normal elder. And we're just going to do the same way again, because this is working pretty well. So uber elders here. Grab my fragments. We'll just talk through it as we go. So basically, if you haven't watched my shaper guide or my elder guide, you should watch those first and you should be comfortable. You should be very, very comfortable with Shaper and Elder both before going into this. If you're not, uh, you're probably just gonna waste your invite. And invites for these on TFT right now are like two and a half divines. So basically how this goes down is you fight both of them at once. <laughs> you're fighting the Shaper and the Elder at the same time. So not a whole lot is actually added it's more so you're just doing them both at the same time you'll notice that uh, if I can pause it at the correct time when they have the purple shield around like right now you see the purple shield around shaper that means that you have to DPS elder so you want to DPS the boss that doesn't have the shield because when they have that shield they're completely invulnerable so a lot of this is coming down to watching the animation for Shaper Beams, Big Cleave on the Elder Portals, and then it's all the attacks you already know from Normal Elder and Normal Shaper. The Donut, the Semicircle um, from Elder, and the Portals from Elder, there's the Semicircle. Covered all that in the Elder video. And then the Shaper you're watching for the Port Slam, because he still has that. The Beam, the... Uh, ice spear autos these degen orbs all of it from the original two fights just combined and all you're looking out for now that is new is the shield on the one that's invulnerable a lot of this is coming down to moving if you stay in one place you're gonna die there's the port slam you also don't really want to backtrack. I backtracked a couple times in this. It's kind of a bad example. You don't want to do that. It's really nice to have something like totems or like SRS or like penance brand. Something that can do damage when you're not attacking. The only time that's not true is if you have a build that does like ridiculous damage. Like if you're like Ice Trap Assassin or something. Just gonna one shot it all anyway, but for the rest of the population, you can see I tan I was on the very edge of that slam, and it was like 90% of my HP. It's a lot of damage, and that's it. So, like I said, not a whole lot new. More so, just doing them both at the same time. And this is how you get the uh, Watcher's Eye, and there's some other loot you can get from this. I got nothing good, unlucky. But, yeah, so not a whole lot added, just a whole lot going on. Uh, this is another one that's probably going to take you a few tries, but it is worth learning because once you know it, you can just go in and get your Void Stone uh, at League Start. It doesn't take a crazy amount of, uh, like, build power to be able to do this. The build I'm playing is quite strong, but at League Start, you can have, like, like when you start to feel like your gems are all like hitting max level, maybe you got 20 quality on your main skill gem, your flasks are rolled well, your flasks are insanely important. Um, I would also recommend uh, the, uh, what are they called, instilling orbs. <laughs> if, you're, if you're really bad about hitting your flasks, just enchant them so they get used automatically because your flasks are so 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 important and getting the correct affixes rolled on your flasks and high tiers of those affixes is also very important will help you immensely in these fights like having tier one percent increased armor and evasion rating is like so good move speed attack speed all that stuff really good 
So that's Uber Elder. There's not really a whole lot to say about it just because I went pretty in depth on Elder and Shaper. Uh, and this is just both of them together. But if you have any questions, same as always, uh, hop in the Team 99 Discord. There's a question section in the PoE channel. You can message me. Uh, you can hop my Twitch chat if I'm streaming. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv backslash rugapower. And uh, yeah, I'll be around if anyone's got any questions. Uh, go get your own Void Stones. Quit paying random people to do them for you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Next up, I am going to cover... Uh, what do I have coming up? I got the Maven. So I'm going to do Maven next. Then I'm going to do Exarch and Eater. So then all four Voidstone bosses will have guides for them. And then I'm going to do Atziri, Uber Atziri, and Cyrus. But I don't know what order I'm going to do those in. So we'll see. I might do them all today. I'm in the mood to make videos. So yeah, like I said, let me know if you have questions. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you don't, this one's short and sweet. It's two bosses at once. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, everybody.